everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, today is Tuesday, August 9th, 2016, and we're showing about how all the symbolism around us is pointing towards the end times and when Michael the Archangel will stand up and actually the day of salvation and deliverance will begin as Jesus Christ assumes the throne and the wrath of the Lamb comes upon the earth. We show how all of the earth and everything going on around us is as a matrix, going right by the Bible. And then once you wake up, you will see it all around you. We are all here to live our lives and have our adventure, and then to head off towards what's known as the wedding feast of the Lamb. Well, this symbolism plays out around us all the time, especially with different individuals around us. Just as right now for the Olympics, Michael Phelps is being used in many ways to show the personification of Michael the Archangel. And this symbolism plays out over and over and over again, showing exactly how the end times is going to come. Here we have Michael Phelps entering into the Olympics, coming with all the people for the USA here. And it says in the Bible, just as Jesus Christ will come, and they will come on a white horse with all the saints, and we will enter in to be victorious. This is the same symbolism right here. They are wearing red, red, white, and blue. They have the white horse on their blue blazers, which represents Israel and Jacob, and everybody's entering into the Olympics. This symbolism does not stop. The whole earth just comes out this way. Just as when Jesus walked into the temple on the, on the colt, he said the stones would be crying out his name. Things are just meant to happen all around us. This symbolism doesn't stop. Now this also represents a worldwide cataclysmic event coming. Because this represents everybody going into heaven and getting on their white horse. This is shown over and over again, even in this cupping. See, Michael Phelps has been doing this thing about cupping. This represents the cup of wrath coming when Michael the Archangel stands up. Daniel 12, Michael's deliverance in the end times. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And then Mike makes everybody that's left on the earth drink from the cup of his wrath. Yes, this is even shown in this cupping, because as we've shown, it's just shown all around the world. Mike Phelps doesn't even know this is happening. He's living his own life. This is the way these things are done. The cupping. Do you see the cupping right here? For those and everybody on my channel, you do know what this represents, right? Do you see the San Onofre power plant when the devil is set free? Do you see how it looks like two breasts and two domes? When Michael brings everybody in, do you see this here? Because this has everything to do with this giant event coming. And when the San Onofre power plant goes and the San Andreas fault line goes, and the end begins. This represents the cup of his wrath coming because this is going to be a worldwide cataclysmic event coming. This power plant is just a big joke fake thing with rods in it and just built like a giant bomb. It's supposed to happen in the Bible when everybody comes after the USA and after the woman. It's actually a giant trap. Do you see this woman right here? When this woman is ready to give birth up here to all of us we will be born into our new immortal bodies to enter into heaven on our white horses following Michael as we conquer and destroy everything as we go into heaven. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought in his angels. This is when the dragon is revealed and cast down. And there will be a worldwide shattering earthquake event on the day of what's called the rapture. If you survive this and you're left on earth, you're left behind. In whatever way, if you perish or anything. 
And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They loved not their lives unto the death. All of the dragon and everybody is going to be coming after this woman, like Russia and China and everybody. And this giant event is going to happen and it will cause worldwide tidal waves and earthquakes that will de destroy all of their armies and such that have risen up to try to go against Mike and his woman right here. And when the serpent comes, and the earth helped the woman and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. When Mike makes everybody drink the cup of his wrath, right there. It's a giant bomb and when all these world leaders rise up against him and against the woman, he's going to blow everything up. And we're going to enter into heaven. And they will be cast down underneath us. That's what these things represent. Watch how this works all the time. Do you see how he even mentions in here? Why Michael Phelps is Gaga for cupping? Because Gaga represents the woman that Jesus drew the line in the sand for. And when they cross the line, it, it's time for the cup of wrath. See the line in the sand? Read about this. When they cross this line, the cup of wrath is coming and we will win. He is going to win gold. We all enter into the golden age. Yes, that's what all of this represents and even the cupping down to there. And even to here where it talks of Gaga. Why is Michael Phelps' Gaga for cupping to make the world drink the cup of his wrath? Because it even comes down to Lady Gaga is used for this many times. And she shows it at the end of her video bad romance. They burn the devil with her breasts. See there? That represents the woman and the birth and when Satan receives his grievous head wound and the bed of great tribulation begins. See that there? May God have mercy on us all. That's the devil being burned up right there. When the cup of God's wrath shows up. See how this is right in front of us? It's not a joke. It's over and over and over and over again. It's, it's just been mapped out. Here, I'll show you. See, San Clemente is in the shape of the eagle. And right here is where the San Onofre power plant is. Right here. Oh, no, he's free. Well, guess who is set free? Satan. And he knows he has but a short time. We go up. Satan is set free. It's even shown on this ancient Egyptian glyph. Remember, from Abraham to Jesus went to Egypt. Moses was taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt. These all map out the end times. We have to escape from underneath the burden of idolatry and such. This clown coming is the fifth angel with the key to open the abyss and is going to be this large nuclear event. The red horse will begin to ride of war. The white horse goes all the way up to the top. See when this eagle is set free? Do you see the two domes of the San Onofre power plant? And that represents Michael and all setting everything going. And then the Russian bear even rises. See all of that perfect? See right there. See those two domes? The cupping. The cup of his wrath. His wrath. The great earthquake of Revelation 12. The cupping that will make all of us win and be able to enter right into heaven first on our white horses. See that there? All perfect by scripture. And on earth, the bed of great tribulation and the devil is burned with fire. He receives his grievous wound. He's cast down as we go up. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. The cupping is the cup of his wrath coming. God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah. You know how I say like just everything's just meant to be. Things just come out this way, showing about the end times. Does everybody remember on our channel about the number of God? This is the number of Jehovah. And you can see here, this represents in Hebrew the name Jehovah. It's also what can be seen right in front of you. It represents a door, the nail, and the door. And it also represents 717. The number of God. See that there? 
Because in, in ancient books, there was numbers for God and for angels and such. Everything went by numbers and things. It represents the hand, the nail through the hand, and the hand, our door, out of here. 717. As I'm making this video, things just happen and they always come out this way, remember? Lady Gaga showing that when Satan is burned with fire, 717. See that? See how things all around us are just pointing towards the end times. It's just meant to be. God really made all of the heavens and the earth and the universe. 717. God's wrath is coming. This is wrath coming. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah. 717 right there. That's the same reason for the cupping. See how things just come out this way pointing right back to here when the San Andreas fault line goes and a worldwide tidal waves, earthquakes, and volcanoes happen. Thank you very much everybody. I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. The cup of his wrath is coming. That's what it means. Michael and the cup. The same thing as Daniel 12. There shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered the biggest event ever since Jesus Christ's resurrection is getting ready to happen I'll see you all at the wedding feast of the Lamb Hallelujah